Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new here my name is Izzy and as soon as this got announced I was so excited. Today I'm going to be doing the Blogilates 14 day hot girl summer sculpt challenge. I absolutely love Blogilates challenges. I've been doing her workout videos forever. Like she was the first person I ever worked out to and found that whole community. So I am so excited for this. This is a 14 day program made by Cassie from Blogilates and she has an entire video on it. So I do not need to explain the whole challenge, but I will have her video linked below. So if you're interested in this challenge or learning all the rules and all of everything else that goes with it, you can just watch her video on it. But today I am going to be trying to complete this challenge on my own. Like I said, it's 14 days, so obviously I'm not going to just be able to finish it today. But I took my before measurements and we're going to take my after measurements at the end and just see how I feel overall and what I think of the challenge. So I've done many workout challenges in the past, but this one I'm really excited about because I've kind of let myself go lately. I haven't been eating the best and working out as much as I used to. So hopefully this challenge will just whip me back into shape a little bit more and get me back going in the direction where I want to be. So I will start with my before measurements and I never really do weight, but for this one, I don't know why I felt like I should. So I took my before weight, which is 126.6 pounds. And then I measured my waist, which is 28, my gut, which is 34.25, and my butt, which is 36 and a half. So those are my before measurements and kind of what my body looked like. So now we are going to get into the challenge and we are going to hopefully complete it and see how it goes. All right, so it is day two. I completely forgot to film on day one, but really quick recap of it. It went very well. I enjoyed doing the video and the workout. I felt really good doing it afterward. It was just hard enough to where I felt like I was working very hard, but not very sore afterward. So I really liked it. Day one went well. It's time for day two and I woke up just on the wrong side of the bed today, really crabby and not myself. So I am hoping that doing this workout will help me just get into a better mood. And I wish I could film like my actual workout, but I've been recording these kinds of videos on my phone and I am watching the workout on my phone, so I don't really get a chance to record it. Day two is done. My legs feel super sore, but they feel great. And I think I might go for a walk later. So I have a little bit of a dilemma. I finished the workout. It's day four, did the arms, and God, that workout was so hard compared to the other ones for me. But anyway, you're supposed to be eating healthy on this, and I'm not following the meal plan, but I'm like, oh, I'll just eat healthy. But today is my 22nd birthday. Happy birthday to me. And I want to treat myself. I want some birthday cake. I want to go get some Cane's chicken. And yeah, today and tomorrow are probably going to be a little bit of a cheat day for me. So take that into account when my end results come out that I'm not really sticking to the meal plan for these couple of days, but it's my birthday. It only comes once a year and I'm gonna treat myself. Just finished day eight, we're over halfway done. I'm feeling good, liking these workouts, not looking forward to repeating everything else for the rest of this week. Cause as you know, I hate repeating workouts, but we're gonna make it through. And day 14 is officially done. I am done with the challenge. So now it's time to take the measurements and share all my final thoughts and just wrap everything up. All right, everybody. So it is time to wrap everything up. Time for all my final thoughts and most importantly, my measurements. So overall, I really liked this challenge. I liked that it was only two weeks and I did not like how I had to repeat everything. It was one week and then you repeated everything the second week. And if you know me at all, you know that I hate repeating workouts. And there was a lot of workouts that repeated as well throughout the week where you would do seven minutes and then repeat that three times. And I didn't like that. It's just because I have a really hard time repeating stuff in workouts. So I won't go into that, but that's the only part I did not like. I also did not follow the meal plan, but that's because I am too picky of an eater and I wouldn't eat like anything on the meal plan. So I kept my eating consistent with what I would normally eat. It wasn't the best, but it wasn't bad either. It's just what I would normally eat. So now it is time for the moment you've been waiting for, measurements. And once again before, I was 126.6 pounds. 
my waist was 28 inches, my gut was 34.25, and my butt was 36 and a half. And after, my weight was 126.4, so that didn't really go down or change much. My waist was 27.25, so I lost 0.75 inches in my waist. My gut went down to 33.5, which was also 0.75 inches smaller, and my butt went up to 37, so I gained half an inch in my butt. So overall, I did see results. They're obviously not the most dramatic results in the world, but that's because I didn't eat the best and I didn't follow the meal plan. But I'm sure if you followed the meal plan and didn't eat out or do some of the things that I did, you would have saw a lot better results than I did as well. So that's something to take into consideration, but I just wanted to keep my eating habits the same. Not that I wanted to, I just, I'm a picky eater and it's hard. So I just did the workout and that is what I saw as my results for the workout. And I I didn't do any workouts or anything else this week besides going for one three and a half mile walk one day and that was it so I didn't add anything extra on top of these workouts so if you have any questions about this whole challenge or anything like that I'd be happy to try to help them but I think that's it for this video and all of my thoughts and I did have a lot of fun doing it and I would recommend it to anybody who likes working out or wants to get into working out or back into working out after taking a long break it's a great way to form some good habits like I was up Every morning, I would do it after I ate breakfast, I would just get up, change into my gym clothes, work out, shower, and continue on with the day. So it was a great way to start my day, and I really enjoyed that, and want to take those habits with me, even though the challenge is over. So if you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing to my channel. I have lots of other fitness workouts, playlists, challenges, all that stuff like that. So I'll have it linked below as well as the original challenge video. So make sure to check those out as well. And thank you for watching.